Hi guys, I'm Zal from the upcoming Lovely to Meet You Both and congratulations on such a fantastic series. It's brilliant. Um, Thank you. <laughs> so perhaps I could start with you. Amir, your character is so pivotal in showing the clear divide between kind of that churlish American girl and, and the reserved manner of the English girl, and particularly being the same age. What was that like to sort of step into the, to the role of Maribel? And what did you like about her? In Aurea, at the beginning, we see her, she's so just closed off and really cold and you know very much her mother's daughter i'd say in the sense that, uh, that actually the whole of the brittlesey family is just very cold and quite suppressing and not very nice to be around so <laughs> um so that it was really it was actually very i remember very vividly actually the day that when the, the moment of, actually it's very early on, I think it's episode one, where all of the American girls get out of the carriage and all of the Brittlesies are looking down out of the window. And I remember that moment and sort of being in this room, which was so cold and dark to film in, which worked quite well, and seeing all of this happy, vibrant, bubbly, just colourful <laughs> energy outside. And I do remember thinking, God, that does look like fun, actually. I'd like to <laughs> skip, around, skip around on the cobblestones outside in the street. That looks great. Why can't I do that? So... I think it's um I think it it definitely was an infectious energy that came from the American contingent. It definitely made its way over into Anoria. So that was really fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Thank you. And and Josie, you know, your character as as Mabel and Zad, you know, and pairing up with Anoria Maribel, what was that like? Um because you kind of talk about a relationship that develops between your characters and how was that dealt with by the writer and that how did you kind of keep that developing relationship so authentic? Yeah, I think like I was really grateful to get to work with someone as amazing as Mia where we could like genuinely Likewise. collaborate and talk about, you know, our intentions and how we wanted to to tell this relationship over the course of of so many episodes that we had where, you know, we have this big ensemble. So we have these moments and we wanted to just make the most meatiest moments possible mm -hmm. that we could with the time that we were given. And I think that meant like even being so granular about like the looks we shared or like the, oh, yeah. even the non-spoken things. And our writers are so amazing. And I had so many conversations with Catherine Jakery is the creator of, of our show about you know, it, when something wasn't feeling necessarily like it was connecting or that it was maybe we had different ideas, she was so receptive. And there were so many moments where we had Zoom calls and we were like rewriting stuff together. And it was like really exciting and fun that someone, you know, as amazing as Catherine was willing to like hear us out and listen to our voices. And, mm -hmm. you know, she wanted it to be as authentic as possible. And I think I think it came across that way because we had that type of like loving, communicative environment. Yeah. And what was it like being on set there? I mean, these amazing costumes that you get to wear, the corsets and, and the amazing locations for both of you. And, and working with such a brilliant ensemble cast, I mean, what was that like for you? Oh, it was a lot of fun. We had, so much fun. We <laughs> had so much fun. I mean, I, I'll talk about the costumes because it was one of my favourite things. I am a sucker for a corset and a period costume, so I was like a pig in, a pig in lipstick. It was amazing. But, um, uh, but I mean, we did have a lot of fun. We and definitely did. when we went away to some of the more remote locations... We were trapped together. We, yeah, it, we, we were kind I had of trapped run. together. They Aubrey, um, who plays Lizzie, called me the mayor of Edinburgh because I was, like, so w wanting to be involved in every aspect of Edinburgh as Everything. possible. I was literally, like, going to college, the University of Edinburgh's Everything. You were so meetings. involved in, like, everything. I, I, I got, so I had hilarious. deals at, like, some of the bars that, like, they were, like, trying to hire me to, like, because I would always <laughs> you bring did, everyone. Yeah, I forgot about that. And you knew, you ended up knowing everybody. Everyone. And I don't know how you to did that. To the point that. where my, my friend Yasmin, who, she went to Edinburgh separately months after we filmed, and she was talking about me in a cafe, and the barista went up to her and was like, wait, are you talking about Josie Tota? <laughs> And I didn't know that. No, she fully oh knew. God. It was at Milk. Oh, I, okay, yeah. Yeah. After we love Milk Cafe in Edinburgh on Dalry Road, if you ever go. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> so we, we sunk our teeth in and had such a great time. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you made a massive impression there. <laughs> um, and thank you so much for speaking to me. Um, it's a fantastic series, um, and I'm sure everyone will love it as much as I did. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.